Bitchin', brought to you by New Coke. Retro fashion looks great, but tastes terrible. Retro cola tastes terrible, but is ironically bitchin'. New Coke tastes the 80s. I'm your host, Nick Soapdish. Now, I have said it before, and I will say it again. I am sick and tired of media personalities who exploit their audiences, pitting left versus right, Mac versus PC. Well, here at Bitchin', we discuss topics that everyone can hate. Because when you bring everyone together, you sell more new coke. Your quiz question tonight, which we'll answer at the end of the show, was on November 15th, 1980, Saturday Night Live debuted its sixth season with a completely new cast that was universally hated. Who was in that cast? Our first topic tonight is hip and on the lips of celebrities and campaigning politicians alike conservation. It's good to conserve, save the natural resources, but outside of owls and granola, what is there left to save? Maybe we should start thinking about conserving less tangible items, like comedy. After all, jokes are a perishable item. They lose value the more you use them. Would you take a date to a restaurant that served half-eaten, three-day-old Bologna sandwiches? Of course you wouldn't. So why are you still taking out that beat-up VHS tape of Ace Ventura after you get her back home? And really, who keeps giving Jay Leno work? Sure, the guy can tell the hell out of a girls are different from guys because joke, or a black people drive like this, white people drive like that joke. Really, we could also heat the cities by burning garbage, but I don't see anybody championing that idea. You could start comedy conservation at home. You know at least one in five people isn't going to get the joke. So when you're at a party, it's easy enough to spot that guy. Wait till they go to the bathroom, then tell the joke. And I can't stress this next one enough. Stop telling jokes to the elderly. Your dog is more likely to get it. Final tip. Stop telling jokes about celebrities. Stand-up comedians who open up for strippers or get specials on Comedy Central have this mind to death. And honestly, today's modern celebrity doesn't need your help. They have to make jokes about themselves just to keep getting work. Here at Bitchin', we sent out an open request to record companies around the world. Send us in some new music, give us something we could review on the show. I'm happy to report we did receive a few submissions, one of which we'll talk about right now. This record, titled Backspacer, comes to us from a Miss Pearl Jam. Now, first things first here, a Miss Jam. Backspacer is the wrong title for this album. The correct title would have been more along the lines of, whatever you want me to be, just give me money. Because that's what you're saying with this album cover. Honestly, it looks like instead of choosing one real album cover, you took as many different ideas as you could and slapped them on the cover, hoping that you would catch a wider demographic. Talk about selling out, bro. Nice one. And while we're on the subject of selling out, Miss Jam, I have a question for you. Does every band out there have to sound like Nickelback? At this time, I'd like to open up the phone lines, take some questions from our callers out there. Now, as you know, Bitchin' is a pre-taped show, which means that everyone out there tonight watching, you wouldn't have any idea as to when you're supposed to call in. So to make things easier on everyone, we are going to call you. We'll just break out the old random phone number generator, dial away, and see what's on our audience members' minds tonight. Hello? Hi, you're on the air with Bitchin' with Nick Soapdish. Josh, is that you? Ma'am, you are currently on the phone live, well, pre-taped, but live for you and I with the one and only velvety voice of the always great, never less than spectacular, Nick Soapdish. Now, could you tell us your name and where you're calling from? Uh, Mary Jo Lewis from West Babylon. Is this a radio show or something? Better than radio, Mary Jo. You're on television. Television? Oh my god, what channel? The show is Bitchin' with Nick Soapdish, and you can catch us on the internet channel. Real show, like on Fox or something. Fox? Real? Mary Jo, please. 
There's no need to be insulting. Tell me, darling, do you get all of your entertainment from a box that tells you what to watch and when? Or do you like to make decisions for yourself, you know, no pressure? I like to make my own decisions. And at least tonight you've shown that you can make the right decision by being on the phone with us here at Bitchin'. Now, Mary Jo, we are, as they say, live on the air. So do you have a question? What do you mean question? I don't have any questions. Mary Jo, how could you be live, well, pre-taped, but live for you and I, and not have a question? You called me. How could of I? Of course I called you, Mary Jo. You may not have known this, but Bitchin' is a pre-taped show, so you would have had no idea as to when you're supposed to call in. So don't even worry about it. Do you have a question? Nick Soapdish. Well, that certainly was a question, Mary Jo. Thanks for calling. You called me! Yes, we were over that part. That's not your real name, is it? Nick Soapdish? That sounds made up for TV. And you thought we weren't the real deal. See, it just goes to show you, Mary Jo. I guess you can now relax. Let your mind relax a little more than it already seems to have. Thanks for calling in. You called Finally, for our last segment tonight, I have some advice for all the kids out there who just suffered through driver's ed. Ready? Don't obey the traffic laws in your community. They were all made up by a bunch of overpaid bureaucrats who couldn't possibly know the size of your car, how fast you like to drive, and don't care what kind of appointments you have to get to during the day. Unless, of course, your sole appointment is driving to re-elect them, or helping them Twitter. Your quiz question at the top of the show was on November 15th, 1980. Saturday Night Live debuted its sixth season with a completely new cast that was universally hated. Who was in that cast? The answer? Who cares? It was only funny the first five years anyway. Tune in again next week for more bitchin' with Nick Soapdish, where we'll be taking a look at a man who doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. Or cucumber. Or library. Or shoehorn. You get the idea. Drop the light.